Hey guys, welcome back to an all new episode of Conflicts. I'm excited to go ahead and announce a brand new series of videos that include Fan Home. This here is a monthly subscription plan that allows you to go ahead and build amazing looking models such as Iron Man, as well as R2-T2, even Dom's Charger. Now, in this episode here, we'll be starting our build with R2-D2, in which they sent us the whole kit monthly basis to go ahead and build this thing. <laughs> now, I'm really excited to go ahead and showcase it to you guys, mainly because of the fact that I'm a big fan of robots, as well as a big fan of R2-D2. So, if you guys want to learn more about them, be sure to check out the link down below in the description. And, without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Alright, so our adventure awaits as we go ahead and build our R2-D2. Now, this is exactly what you get, so it comes in a box like this on a monthly basis, which houses the different stages that you'll be building. So, let's go ahead and see what our first box consists of. Alright, so it says Fan Home, and... Haha, <laughs> cool! So I do see some magazines. Uh, we have our different components for our stages today. So it looks like we have two stages that we'll be building. Uh, and you can actually see that it comes in this nice casing. So it's like a plastic housing. Here, so first off we do have, it looks like just a quick little introduction. So it kind of showcases the different things that you can go ahead and build. So you can go ahead and build Dom's Charger. You can build Iron Man, which we'll be also be building. Uh, you also have the different characters in terms of collections, like Street Fighter, as well as Naruto. Uh, and I believe that they'll have other ones going forward too. So it's quite exciting stuff. It's not too complicated of a build, which is great. So you can go ahead and do this in your spare time without having to worry like, oh my god, I have so many things to build. But in the end of the project, say in about a year or so, you have yourselves an actual robot. Alright, so this here is our main mag. Uh, so this will give us a little bit in terms of details about our R2-D2 and what it can do. So for instance, this particular robot has a one-piece metal dome. So it'll also been like the original. It also has a projector. What? So it can go ahead and display holographic display messages using a projector on a flat surface. That is so sick. Uh, you can go ahead and move it around so it does have a powerful drive motors and then it has a pop-up lightsaber which will pop up on demand and ejection tube in his head. No way! So this is really exciting. Uh, it does have a video still camera so you can go ahead and take photos and it has extending arms. It has a microphone and a speaker and a status display for diagnostic warnings. And lastly, rechargeable battery. So it's a 1 by 2 scale, so this thing's going to be quite massive. This is actual the size of the final product, so it's going to be this big. This talks about exclusive gifts that are included in it as you continue to build it. And then, of course, our issues that we're building. So let's go ahead and follow issue number one. Some background stories behind r 2 Some interesting facts, blueprints, and just a lot of cool things, especially if you are big into Star Wars. Assembling the R2-D2 Processor State Indicator. So this here is going to be our Stage 1 kit. So, uh, and literally, it is what it is. You just go ahead and follow it step-by-step -step directions. All right, so we're going to go and build the first one together and kind of get a better idea of this. Wow, this is actually made out of real metal. Look. <laughs> okay, so that was our st stage one. Now this here's our stage two. Again, magazine giving you a lot of nice details. So check it out guys, so this here is our final product. This here is our right leg. Took a little bit, about a half an hour to build. Uh, then again, I did not have super glue, so I ended up using double-sided tape. Now, again, I probably go ahead and buy some super glue and re-glue those pieces together. But overall, it was a very simple build and very easy to do. Now we also have a few other extra pieces here that we will be using going forward, uh, as well as this particular LED display unit. So that is that in terms of our first video. Now, if you guys had any questions about it, feel free to comment down below and be sure to go ahead and subscribe as well as hit like. And of course, go ahead and check out our playlist for this particular series build. And with that said, see you guys next time. Take care now. Bye-bye.